so I just got unloaded uh, at the Tacoma Dome and I'm about to open up my, I literally just pulled out of there like a yard or whatever. And I'm gonna open up my laptop, Look, at, I'm gonna start looking for some loads. Have you seen anything? Have you booked anything? Of course, man. Don't Wait, worry about it. I got you. hold on, you already booked something? Yeah, you haven't looked in the air table yet? No, first of all, where's it picking up and where's it going? It's like probably right around the corner from you when I mapped it out. It's big, dude, it's like four racks. Wait, it's $4,000 going where? Fort Campbell, Kentucky. What's the commodity? Uh, that's not really important. Wait, hold on, what is it? What do I pick it up? Um, 220-footers. It's all yours, buddy. Two twenty 20-foot containers? Are you kidding me, man? Well, I hope you heard what he just said. Uh, we got 5.6 miles to the gallon coming out here. Looks like with those containers, we're gonna get 5.6 miles coming right back out. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with doing a container, like a short haul, but it's gonna be a container, a long haul, uh, or two containers, actually. Anyways, let's go pick them up. All right, well, look at <laughs> Oh, man, you guys. Two containers, two 20-footers this time. And it's literally from the same yard, what is it, Tacoma Container Storage or something? So that's uh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Anyways, uh, two 20-footers. Look, you can see the pilot sign, like, right there, right? So careful now. <laughs> you know when there's a loud noise and big equipment, something's bad, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the pilot and we're gonna get a scale ticket right away. To my understanding, two 20 footers weighs more than a 40 footer. And that 40 footer, when I picked it up, I think I weighed, if I don't, if I recall correctly, I think it was like 24,000 pounds and some change. So let's go get a scale ticket real fast and let's hit the road, Kentucky, here we come. Oh, hold on, what do we got up here? Uh-oh. Oh no, it's a hot shot. Oh gosh, man, oh wow. That is not good. All right, let's pull over and see if we can help him in some way because he looks stuck pretty bad. Oh, man. Hey, are you okay? Oh, well, you were coming down? Yeah, hitting the brakes. Are you on the road? Yeah. You can get by on the right side, though. There's a deputy up there on the hill with the lights on. Oh, they are? Okay. So it happened about two hours ago. Okay, so is someone coming to get you out? Yeah, I called Tuck up two hours ago. I don't know how he's going to get me out. I did the same exact thing, Jack and I have just like this. And he hooked the chain to the back. And he hooked it to the back and pulled me right back out. Yeah. But when I was in the ditch, I couldn't take the truck out, you know. But if I could disconnect the truck, usually the first thing I'd want to do is disconnect the truck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Wow. I saw the light, so I thought I'd come say hi. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Gosh. Damn. Wow. You're just off the road, right? Yeah. You didn't, like, crash into those? Oh, no. No, no, no. So you're just stuck. So yeah. somebody with a uh -huh. long, long chain or something like that could get you? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's no joke, you guys. Drive safe. It's, I mean, <sighs> wow. That guy is literally just in the middle, blocking the road. Oh, yeah, guys, winter is no joke. Um, and, you know, if you're from, like, southern states that goes from Louisiana, so if you're from southern states, uh, please. There's a semi-truck coming down the road. Hold on, let's see if you... Okay, he's slowing down. He's slowing out down real good. Yeah, because look, there's the trailer. Hey, hey, the guy says there's room to go around. Okay. Uh, they're slowing down. Yeah, I saw those semi trucks coming down. Yeah. I'm like, started flashing my high yeah, beams. They come down too hard. Quick, on. dude, right? Those yeah. trucks, goodness gracious. All right, best of luck, you two. All right, looks like we got a semi truck on the road. Let's just pull up alongside of him and see if he's okay. Is everything okay? Well, I can't get my air driving down the road and the air suspension dumped out on me and started cutting my fenders and my tires. I can't get the air up, though. No. 
what do you need to do? Like warm it up or something like that? I'm dumping airline antifreeze into the second into the secondary oh, okay. tank. So, hopefully, get back in there in that suspension and get it all thawed do out. You, uh, I have a blowtorch. Do you need a blowtorch by chance? I've got one with me too. Okay, but it's you do. Okay. Telling because I have no clue where the hell it froze uh, at. Ah, okay. So, okay. On a positive note, it's not that cold out. Right. <laughs> best of, best of luck, man. All right. Well, here we are in Council Bluffs, Iowa and we are waiting at the Blue Beacon to get a truck wash. Now, what you wanna do, okay, there's more pro tips for you guys, is don't wash your truck like in South Dakota because it was still snowing, it was still coming down. Wash your truck, hopefully, where the weather's gonna be a little nicer. Now, <laughs> I understand that you can still, <laughs> like they must have had a snowstorm recently, but I mean, still, I think from here on out, we're gonna go from Iowa, or we're heading down 29 South, and then we're going across Kansas, no. Missouri. <laughs> we're going to Kansas City, I think, and then we're cutting across Missouri into Kentucky that way. So uh, to deliver these containers, uh, what I'm going to actually have them do is wash the containers too. Honestly, everything is going really good. Not at like, not a single issues. I know the, the MPG <laughs> sucks. <laughs> like, I think the dash says like 4.9, 5.2, 5.5. So that's a problem. But overall, like no issues, no breakdowns, no, oh. <laughs> it's so funny how I'm saying there's no issues and then I walk around to the front of the truck oh wait here's an issue wow I literally just pulled in and started walking around and noticed this so we got our headlight right there it looks good it's working and then oh what well, nope no headlight here oh man and I know these bulbs hold on can I change the bulb from in the fender well I totally forgot how to change it on these things or do I actually have to take the whole headlight out? That's not good. Okay. <laughs> well, looks just in case my day was gonna be boring, now that made it a little bit more interesting. But here's the thing: the sun's coming up literally in like a couple minutes. I know it doesn't look like it. It's dark when you wake up. It's dark when you go to bed. So let's wait for this truck to pull forward. Then we're gonna vacuum. Then we're gonna wash it. And then we will see if we need to replace the light. I'll do no brightener wash, uh, truck trailer. Can you do the containers too? The inside of them? No, no, the, the, just the, the outside. Yeah, we could just bring it down for you. Yeah, just because the snow was kicking up to there too. Uh, and then I'll do the... Rain next? Yes. On the truck or both of them? Uh, truck. Alright, so you want the truck brush, blown on, the trainer blown off, and then rain next on the truck? Yes, sir. Will that be all for you today? That's it. Thank you. get into this breakdown of the load so you can see right here Tacoma to Fort Campbell Kentucky that's a whopping total of 2,352 miles uh, and that's zip code to zip code obviously and I think I mentioned in the intro or in the beginning that the load was paying $4,000 uh, for those two containers so you could almost say $2,000 a piece so literally a hundred bucks a foot you know by the way uh, so I thought that's pretty interesting but $4,000 divided by 2,383 miles is $1.70 per mile. Now, I will say, uh, that's that's not a good rate, okay? But I saw going down that way, uh, two, a, a semi with those two, same two containers and a CDL hotshot with those two containers. And I actually ran into that CDL hotshot and asked him how much he's getting paid and he said 3,800. So uh, I think uh, Clint definitely negotiated a couple extra bucks on that one, so that's awesome. But $1.70, unfortunately, leaving the Pacific Northwest is not a bad rate. It's a very rough market up in the Northwest. So yeah, all in all, I think it's a good rate. I got to, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got the load. I didn't have to sit there or deadhead like crazy like in my last videos and uh so yeah but that'll do it for this video let me know in the comments below down what you think let me know in the comments down below what you think there we go nailed it alex <laughs> i'll see you next one bye